I feel like the Lord has given me um, something that's been on my heart for a while. And uh, today I was working, and I want to send this out to my family and, and friends and loved ones and just anybody who's out there that um, might need to hear this. I don't want to get too long and get into great detail, but I mean, there's an urgency in my spirit. Um, if any of you guys know me, some of you might know me as Robbie, somebody, some of you will know me as Pastor Joseph. I've been pastoring a church now for four years, and, and um, but I just want to get right to the point. Um, man, the times that we're living in right now is, is unprecedented to any other time. Um, I mean, God has got an urgency in my spirit right now just, you know, just to prepare. We need to, you know, we need to be ready. And I'm not saying that Jesus Christ is coming right now. And I know there's a lot of things out there on YouTube and a lot of hype and all kind of stuff. But um, there's people that are out there um, that know me and have been knowing me for a long time. And since around 2007, I've been talking about the blood moons. Um, in 2014, 2015, that they were going to begin uh, war, and and it's manifesting itself. It's all over the place, and the urgency in which you know uh, God has spoken into me, uh, really starting in January of last year, was just to begin to prepare, and you know put food away, you know um, just for. You know, I'm not talking about doomsday prepping or anything like that, but man, I'm telling you, the times that we're fixing to enter into, the things that are happening, the borders that are open right now, and, you know, all the refugees that are coming in, the Syrian uh, from Syria, they're talking about bringing 10,000 in the United States, um, the closing of stores all over the place, the weather chaos that's going crazy. I mean, these are the things that Jesus said would come. But he didn't say it was at the end. He said, you know, we would see the signs of the times. And it's the times that we're living in right now. And the warnings are going out right now. And I'm telling, you know, I'm telling my sisters and my brothers, you know, look, I'm just one man. And if something happens and you guys haven't prepared, you know, I can't do anything. You know, I can only take care of my family and those that God has put around me. Um, and that's just not for my sisters and brothers. It's also sisters and brothers in Christ and just, you know, whoever. I mean, you got to think about even in Noah's day, you know, uh, Noah was preaching that, you know, a great flood was coming. And can you imagine when God closed the door? You know, they all said, oh, no way this can happen. Can you imagine them beating on the door and saying, here, just take my kids. You can feed my kids and, and you can do this. But, you know, when God closes the door, and what I'm trying to say is, Man, we're on the verge of a stock market crash right now. I mean, we're on the verge of, we have, you know, the Pope coming uh, in September that's coming to talk about Agenda 2021 20, and Agenda 30. And most of you guys know me, and I don't believe the Lord is going to come back till around, you know, the year 2030 to 33. But the Lord talks about times before that there's going to be earthquakes and pestilences and famines and and I know there's people out there, well, they've been saying he's coming, he's coming. But the reality of it is, is I'm telling you, I know that I know that I know that something is about to go down. And what is it going to hurt? I mean, what is it going to hurt if you go to Sam's or go to Walmart and buy some rice and beans and put it away? I remember when we thought something was going to go down in the year 2000 and my daddy had prepared. And I know what, it, I know what it, it is to be in a calamity because of when Katrina went down, all my brothers and sisters lost their houses, and, and we was the only uh, ones that actually made it. Even my mom's house, her roof was torn off, and we had 26 people living at, at my house. And it was rough. But, you know, um, we learned how to come together and work as a family. And um, so what I'm trying to say to you guys, without getting really preachy or anything like that, you know, most of you guys know me, um, and I know people that had been coming to the church now. I know they're tired of hearing it. You know, we need to get ready. We need to get prepared. But I'm not just talking about physically. I'm talking about spiritually as well. I mean, you can forget. Um, if you're not ready spiritually, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, 
if I mean, and I'm talking about on a personal level, and I'm not talking about you knowing him. Because the Bible says many in that day will say, Lord, Lord, and he's going to say, be gone for I know you not. But does he know you? Do you sit at the table and, and take time to get to know him in an intimate way? Is he speaking to you right now the things that are coming? Is the Spirit preparing you for what's coming? And I've been called as a watchman a long time ago, and the Lord told me in 2006 that, I, that we would have an end-time ministry. And I've been ministering now for about 15 years, and most of you guys know my walk. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, please, you know, there is no time. I tell you what, I am so worried about the times. I say not worried, but so, um, it's like so urgent right now in my spirit that some things are about to go down, and you might not have time to prepare. So now is the time, you know, if you hear my voice, the Bible says that, you know, um, the sheep knows the shepherd's voice. And I'm just speaking out. It's not my words. It's the Lord's words that, man, now is the time to get ready and get prepared and to do something. You know, uh, don't say it ain't going to come. It ain't going to come. And then all of a sudden it's going to be upon us. And um, anyway, I just felt like I needed to... Um, to talk to you guys and I'm begging you you know um, please go buy some rice and beans you can get you know a 50 pound bag of rice is $17 a 50 pound or 25 pound, or 25 pound bag of beans is you know uh, 20 or so dollars $25 you can put back a year supply of food with $200 I mean is that a big deal that and that's if nothing happens, I remember doing, like I said, doing Katrina, the food my dad put away, we ate in 2006. He put it away for Y2K, supposedly, you know, some things are going to happen. But in 2006, you know, that's the food that we ate during Katrina, six years later. So, you know, it's like an insurance policy. I mean, what's the big deal? You take out insurance on your car, your house. I mean, what's the big deal if you take some beans, put it away in rice, and some water and if nothing happens praise God but if something does happen you're gonna have you know food you could feed your kids and I'm gonna tell you another thing you know what we're doing is we're not just preparing for us I mean we're preparing for the end time harvest this ain't about doomsday prepping or anything like that you know the food that we're storing and I'm just one man just putting away you know I want to use it so that I can minister to people with it to show them listen God spoke to us and um and he's good so um man i'm gonna be praying if you guys you know want any more information about um you know what's going on because i didn't get into anything really um you know the citadel church is now uh meeting on saturdays at the clearwater of, of rv park saturdays at 10 and um look you know who i am if uh, you'd like any information, I'm home every day rebuilding my house because I house, my house had burned in November of last year. And, uh, man, feel free to come. I live at 1517 Caesar Road. You can come pull up in my driveway anytime and come talk to me. And, um, man, God bless you guys. I love you.